Let's take a look at what happens as a clutch wears. So normal operation, the operator would push the pedal down towards the firewall. And as they push that pedal down, what's going to happen is this rod is obviously going to come up. We're going to see a pivot right here. This rod is going to get pulled away or towards the front of the truck. And my yoke is going to make contact with my release bearing. Now, once it makes contact with the release bearing, and notice the drawing up here, it sort of says that beginning piece is free pedal. So our free play between my yoke fork and my release bearing is my free pedal. Once that happens, we're pulling on the release bearing, and what you have to see here is that this sleeve is part of the release bearing pulls against my pressure plates or my pressure springs and my pressure springs are acting on my release levers that's holding my pressure plate in contact with my friction discs. So as we pull on the release bearing, our pressure springs are being caged, my release levers are being pulled away from the pressure plate and a running clearance is formed between the pressure plate and the discs. Now, the reason why this is important is we're starting to see where the wear can occur. If the wear occurs between the intermediate plate and the clutch discs or the flywheel in the discs or the pressure plate in the discs and my material gets thinner, what happens is this pressure plate starts to move towards the flywheel. As the pressure plate moves toward the flywheel, what that's actually going to do is allow these pressure springs to extend. It's going to weaken the pressure springs because as they get longer, they're going to get weaker. So they're going to be a little bit weaker. And this is why a war clutch that is not readjusted causes slippage is because these pressure springs are extended. And the longer they get, the weaker they get. But what we notice is happening is that as this release bearing is moving towards the flywheel because the pressure springs are pushing it there, this free play is going to disappear. If that free play disappears, then the free pedal disappears as well. So from the operator station, the minute you touch that pedal, it feels like you're pulling on the release bearing. That is a clutch out of adjustment. So when we get to that point and we are feeling that that clutch pedal is tight or contacting the release bearing immediately, we would come in through the inspection plate on the bottom right by the bell housing of that transmission, take a look in, and we want to inspect and do a visual inspection. What we're going to look for is make sure that our clutch brake is in good condition. Now the reason why is because there's a half inch gap that's supposed to exist between the release bearing and the clutch brake. Well, it's hard to measure a half inch if the clutch brake is missing or excessively wore from the operator engaging the clutch pedal too far when they're not going into either first or reverse. So if they're switching between gears driving forward, they shouldn't be contacting the clutch brake. The clutch brake is attempting to stop the input shaft. We don't want that to happen as the vehicle's driving down the road. The only time we want the input shaft to stop using the clutch brake is when we're going into first and reverse. So what we're going to do is visually inspect for the half an inch. You can use a half an inch measuring tool, a half an inch square stock, a half inch round stock. However you're going to do it, you're going to measure and make it check against the manufacturer's spec. You want to make sure the clutch brake's in good condition so your reference point is good. Measure for your half inch and then what we want to see is an eighth of an inch. You saw I drew that between the yoke fork and our release bearing. Now, if you have a snug pedal, no free pedal, you're almost guaranteed that this free play is non-existent. To restore that free play, keep in mind that we have an adjusting ring right here. So on the easy pedal adjustment or on the advantage clutch that's got the angled spring butt, it's got a retaining keeper, so a lock tab in there. If you turn this adjusting ring clockwise 
from the bottom view of your inspection panel, turning it clockwise, what's going to happen is that's going to push the adjusting ring in towards the flywheel. When that happens, you're then going to pivot where it's contacting the pressure plate and the release lever is actually going to come out towards the transmission. As the release lever moves towards the transmission, so does our sleeve and our release bearing moves towards the transmission. That would restore my eighth of an inch of free play, which would restore my free pedal. One and a half to two and a half inches of free pedal. Now we want to make sure that we bring back the free pedal and that's going to make sure that our springs are caged properly, making sure that we have the correct clamp load, but we don't want to move the release bearing too far and that's why this half inch gap is so important to maintain. So then the order would be, you notice the free pedal has no free pedal or notice the pedal has no free pedal. You do an inspection and you take a look and you notice you don't have any free play. You check your clutch brake, it's in good condition. You remove the lock tab or push the spring loaded adjuster in and turn the adjusting ring clockwise to bring it closer to the flywheel. As you do that, the release levers and the release bearing are then gonna come towards the transmission, giving you back your free play until you have both the eighth of an inch at your free play and your half an inch at your gap between your clutch brake and your release bearing. That would be a properly adjusted clutch. What happens if you have excessive free pedal? So you push on the free pedal and it just seems to go for miles. Again, you would do an inspection. You'd come down underneath through the inspection cover and look. And what if you had excessive free pedal, but you had good free play? So an eighth of an inch, or maybe even a snug eighth of an inch, and you had a half an inch gap between the release bearing and the clutch brake. It would appear that everything's in good condition, except you have excessive free pedal. Before you just write this off saying, well, that must be how this vehicle is, inspect your linkages because at each of the rod ends there's a pin going into a fisheye bearing and each one of these pivots each one of these pins has an opportunity to wear and as they all gradually wear they're going to start accumulating that travel and that's going to give you excessive free pedal while still having good free play the repair then would be replacing the rods or replacing the rod ends depending on your manufacturer's availability of parts.